gonna be a happy day, man. Preach it. When Jesus Tell you, man, this is the song right here. You Hallelujah. Watch. You watch. Snake. Go for no. What is, dude? What is that? Dude, I told you. I told you this song. Dude, it's a Panama. I told you, man. Lucky, lucky song. Dude, we've been looking for a Panamint and finally got one. That is stinking awesome. Don't you just love when you actually find what you're looking for? Is that supposed to respond? Yes. Let's try it again. Don't you just love it when you find what you're looking for? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> it does. So nobody really knows this but Isaiah, but there kind of is a little bit of a secret behind this panamint. Uh, so this is kind of a redemption for me. We won't go into the details, <laughs> but just know it's a redemption, okay? I do mistake. Shh! Don't say anything! Alright, so this is the infamous panamint rattlesnake. This is what we've been searching for for quite a while. Finally ran upon one. Um, super, super happy about this. Uh, these guys, like a lot of the rattlesnakes out here, and really a lot of the snakes in general, um, are diurnal only uh, when it's mild temperatures. Uh, when it's hot like this, July, um, it's nocturnal and nocturnal only. Uh, we actually came from an area where it was 104 at night, and uh, we're up to an area now where it's about 79, so it's a lot, uh, lot better temperatures. But uh, these these uh, panamint rattlesnakes used to be in the uh, speckled rattlesnake family, uh, but then got classified as their own group, the Stephens eye. Uh, so it is a separate species now. Uh, this rattlesnake uh, typically grows, you know, the adults are typically two to four foot in length. Uh, they will prey upon uh, rodents, birds, lizards, um, most, uh, most of the typical things that rattlesnakes will go after. Uh, he, now he's preyed upon by King snakes, uh, birds of prey, uh, road runners, um, as well as foxes. Some of the mammals will uh, definitely prey upon him. Uh, now the thing about the panamint rattlesnakes, like a lot of the uh, um, speckled rattlesnakes, they're found in rocky, steep terrain. Uh, in an area that we're at, we're actually not as rocky as what I would think. We actually came from a real rocky area, but this area is not as rocky, uh, at least from what I can see right now. It's pretty dark, so it's hard to tell. Uh, one other thing you might notice is he is really, really docile. A lot different from the Mojaves, which can be really um, temperamental, uh, but really, really docile. Has really barely rattled at all. Uh, he's kind of just chilling out. Now this one, uh, oh. It's about a foot and a half, probably. Uh, so it's a younger one. It's only got uh, three buttons on it. Not that that means a whole lot, but um, I would venture to say that this is a younger one. Another thing about the panamint rattlesnakes is they uh, vary in, in color and pattern. They can uh, have a, a wide variety of um, colors and patterns. I mean, I've seen almost like a uh, like a white coloration, um, a real red coloration they will pretty much um, blend into what their environment is if it's darker rocks they'll typically be a darker color if it's lighter rocks they'll be a lighter color um, so it really is an amazing uh, rattlesnake here uh, one other fact kind of the last little tidbit here is this a live bearing snake gives birth uh, in in rodent burrows and uh, so Super, super happy. This made made the year. We found a lot of cool stuff this year. I gotta tell you, it's one of, been one of the best years. But this is the Panamint rattlesnake. No, no, he wanted. 